smell of my wow. beard from cat, cat food, food to fondant. So at least I don't smell cat food anymore. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. I, I, so I've got, I've got two new kittens now. Yeah. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's Coop and Reamer are the name <laughs> of the kittens, which I love. Basketball. Uh, and so, but, uh, Coop is super, super cute, but I picked him up this morning. Dive his response. Oh, that, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I picked him up this morning, and he loves cuddling, so he's up on my chest, and he starts like rubbing against my nose and chin and stuff. And I'm like, oh, super cute. Then I was like, why do I smell like cat food? Like I couldn't find like oh, I step. What are you doing that when you? Yeah, there was, in, in trivia going like, yeah, I'm like, he what? Just, I can't find it. <laughs> yeah, so it was it was like in my like he was because he rubbed up against me, so it was like in my beard, like on my literally on my nose because he just he's a little cute little kitty, and so yeah, he's got he's got 14 toes on his front two feet. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. that's yeah. interesting. He's got seven toes on either paw. They're they're giant. Like he's a mutant. Yeah, basically. Oh. I've seen yeah. you see a lot of cats with like six toes, but here let me he's show. Very you. very very cute. I like the idea of this cat like bending up in his beard giant. and like yeah, and sure. doing this, and then it throws like up over more. here. So it's got a little so cat got, food going. Yeah, he's got. What's it like from underneath? Does he have to let it little beans? Yes, yeah, he's, he's, he's got little seven beans. little beans. Yeah. Seven, so what's so it's like one finger turned into is that like Coop? several fingers. That's Coop. It's a big Coop Coop's the orange thing. one. Reamer's the uh, so the the brown one. There's the two of them. Oh, I got to play. I got to play with Reamer. Reamer is really really cute. Yeah. And so it's Coop and Reamer. And so we we brought Ellie, my normal like my cat I've had for a while. My normal. Emma is like all about him. Like Emma loves him. They love Emma already. But like introducing cats is always tricky. So we've been mm -hmm. slowly like okay like they've been in our bedroom and our in our bathroom. And then, like, we'll put him in the bathroom, let Ellie in, let her smell. She knows something's up. And then, finally, it's like we basically just kind of let them see each other. And Ellie's like, nope, not having it. She was, like, hissing and pissed off and, and upset and angry. And it's like, well, this will be fun. Yeah, so, she'll get over it. I yeah. mean, like, Booker was that way with Zipper whenever I was around. How long, how long did you hold the Zipper away from the rest of them before you well, finally, like, brought it, him it into the house? It actually had to be longer because he was he had oh, cold. Sick. Yeah, that's right. So he was sick. So we couldn't really let him near. But what we did was um, once it looked like he was starting to feel better and we um fed we kept him in the bathroom and we'd feed him on one side of the door and we fed booker and screwed on the other side of the door so they could smell yeah, each we other did that through with the door. Just, yeah. yeah it was like um, a week of that but booker would like press and sometimes we'd crack it a little bit and booker would press his head up into the crack and you'd oh. sit there and go <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and Holy hiss. Shit. and then if you saw a zipper he'd hiss and back up um Hater's like different. the most chill cat too, and so to, to he, hear he stories about him. He growls the doorbell too, though. Weird. When, so you... when anyone rings the door, Booker <laughs> growls at the door, door, even though he's never has never scratched or bit anybody, and he loves people. But um, yeah, he hissed at Zipper for a while. Then he got over it. But now Zipper's like the bully. Like Zipper bullies Scooter because I think Scooter was a runt because mm. uh, he's tiny, like super tiny. But Scooter's got that like. Like he's got a like uh, every time I look at him, he's like his face reminds me of one of the bigger cats, like a lion or something, because he's got the the rounded like mm -hmm. yeah. snout and but stuff. But he's just like, like the smallest cat. Like he's oh, fully really? grown now, and when he sits in the little like the cat loaf, he's like this big. Oh wow! So he's really small, and he recently had to get his teeth like clean. They had to do like a procedure to like clean out his teeth because he had something going on, and so they they had to like give him a uh, like something to make him fall asleep. So they had to shave the lower part of one of his yeah. arms and then like under here a little bit. And so um, so I just called him peg leg for the past hour. <laughs> but because it's like so thin under the fur and it's just started to grow back. And it's really cool because his leg was just one solid color. And then as the fur grew back, you can see one of the stripes that he has like on it. That's like so The stripe cool. is starting to grow back. And it's like really weird. And it's just like, oh, that's pretty cool. Why don't humans have stripes? I know. Like, right? I was thinking stuff. that. People have birthmarks and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but those are ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> like, I was yeah. like, I've got a birthmark here. Just oh, one of the nails with that one. Because I, mean, like, I knew someone was going to yeah. jump in and go, I have one. I didn't know yeah, my new be. my new kitten, Smee, immediately fell in love with because he's great with little kittens and they mm -hmm. cuddle on that. The middle one, Colombo, is just like. No. It's the middle child, yeah. typical. So, so how, how long do you keep them, the kittens, separated like from the rest of the house? Because like, I'm, I'm at the week. point now where I'm like, how long should we keep them in there before we kind of let week them out? Week sounds good. Week, week and a half maybe. Because yeah. at the beginning, like they would basically live in uh, behind with a door in between. And I would bring them out to just sort of like hold them near each other. And they would hiss at each other. And then after a week, they never did that. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Hopefully, Ellie, because like it's it's also two boys too, and Ellie's Ellie's a girl, so it's like I don't know if that'll affect it at all. But it's like Emma is all about them. Like it's funny because Coop loves humans, like Coop loves Katie and I, and like will be very cuddly. And then Reamer loves Emma, and like it, like Reamer's like <laughs> jumping all over Emma, and, like biting her ears and stuff. The best like, name you always have the best thing. names was, for cats. That Coop was, and Reamer and what, Uday and Uday, Kuse. Uday, Kuse. Kuse. and then Ellie Ellie it's Ellie Khan because it's Ellie Genghis Khan, and then Emma Gaddafi. 
Mm. But yeah, <laughs> Ellie, Ellie and Emma are kind of like the most normal names. But yeah, Coop and Reamer. That was because we like initially it was Katie was calling um, the gray, calling Reamer blue because he's got like that gray kind of skin. And, like he looked kind of blue. And then I was like, well, we should call the other one red. So we have red and blue. I think that's nice. kind of cute because it's the orange one. Yeah. You should get like, a yeah. mouse and call it a little bitch. <laughs> God. No, we have Emma. Emma's Emma a little bitch. <laughs> call him bait. And then, uh, and then, Squeak. then for a while it was uh, Mr. Darcy and Mr. Bindley because Katie's <laughs> a big Pride and Prejudice fan. Yeah. And I just couldn't say. I was like, Mr. Bingley, Mr. B- oh, fuck. And <laughs> she's like, she's like yeah, okay. Mr. Bigsby? And then, then we were trying to think Clayton of, like, Bigsby. Katie tweeted, she's like, what are some good pairs? And a lot of people were like, you know, like My- My- Milo and Otis, and like tons of different ones, Abbott Costello, Paul some Oates. really good ones, Hall and Oates. Yeah. And then, mm. and then no one said Coop and Reamer. I forget how we said it. Like, Katie brought it up and was like, oh, Coop. And, and I was Hanson like, oh, Deck. yeah. And then it was Coop and Reamer. <laughs> so it's. It's Joseph R. Cooper and Doug Reamer are the two cats. We uh, make the love. most British references. I know, because I know them. I was going to, yeah. um, you know, with the um, zipper, we totally went on a different trend from what the first two were. Because, like, the first two, it's, like, Booker and Scooter. But it's not because, like, those are, like, verbs. Like, you can book and you can scoot and you can zip, which is what we did eventually. But, like, those are both video game references, mm-hmm. right? Borderlands and... Book and, catch. And... Booker Catch, right? Yeah. Bioshock Infinite, which is like why we named them that. But then the third one, we just couldn't, we were going to call him Shepherd for a while, but like we just couldn't decide on one that we thought was really good. And we're like, you know what? Let's go with Zipper, like, because it fits the whole thing. The and now Kat yeah. really wants to get a fourth cat. She asked me all the time. To that's got to be too oh, yeah. that's too And that's what I say. I'm I thought, like, I thought, two I thought was you two were the one that wanted more. And no, she, she tries to spin it that way. Oh, I wanted the third one. Yeah. I wanted the okay, third that, one. Yeah, that, that, Katie said her and Kat were like hanging out together when they were picking out ours and it was like, ooh, Kat was getting getting into oh, it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, she kept coming back like, Jeremy, we could get this cat. We could get this one. I'm like, Kat, we can't have four. Like, four is way too many. She wants to get one named Skipper. So we yeah. have uh, Booker, Scooter, Zipper, and Skipper. <laughs> Like, That's kind of great. Yeah, I'm like, it's that just, it's too I gotta many be cats. honest, I didn't really feel much of a jump between going from one cat to going to three cats. It's really like not that much more. They work. just keep to themselves, really. Yeah, yeah well, you just like, feed them more. You have dogs. No. Oh, absolutely boxes. it is. Yeah. 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 One to two is like an exponential growth yeah. in dogs. I will say, I, I mean, I, I, I went from that. three to one over the course of a year, and like the amount of litter you have to clean goes way down. <laughs> <And> that was, <laughs> yeah. That's about the only change. It's like, oh, wow, yeah, the litter box, it doesn't get nearly as dirty and when you only have one cat, but it's like, oh, we got two more. Moving all of our litter Go. boxes too, because they were downstairs, and we have four litter boxes and Where three do you cats. Keep them? I never know what what room they should go in. Well, so mine for a while, where when you walk in my house, they were just to the left because there was like a room that we don't use. It was, it was like, like that's a, a formal dining room. room. So yeah, formal yeah. dining room area that we don't use for anything. Now we just have like um, framed pictures up on the wall. That's all of our bucket list stuff that we want to do. Nice. Um, so that's like all up on the wall. But then we have one of those. I don't know the name of it. It's kind of that like Asian looking cop separator thing. What's it called? Carp. Carp. Are you talking about those like partitions, like those yeah, yeah, paper walls or whatever? I thought he knew what it was. No, yeah, you know what I mean. It's like yeah. an unfoldable yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so we had that. Like dressing like, walls or something like yeah, that. Yeah, so we have that like unfolded and it goes around and the litter boxes are behind it. But I just really still hated having them there. Because yeah. if someone came over right after the cat took a shit, then like you'd smell yeah, it right stink. when you walk in. Put them in the garage. Get cat uh, doors. I don't want my cats in my garage because I'm always nervous mm. that somehow that door's gonna something. open and they're gonna get out and yeah. I just don't want to deal with it. So I um It's a good idea. That's what I did. Yeah, that's where his is. So but I so I've just moved them upstairs, like into a nice. loft area that I also don't really use. Like except for the, the trailer box? Out again. The litter boxes, yeah. So you have to so now I have track three, down and throw it away. Now I have three upstairs and one downstairs. But we have like this uh thing called a cat genie, mm-hmm. um, which is just like it's like a little waste basket that has a, a bag in it, and like you fill it up, and it all goes down there. It keeps the smell contained, and then when it's full, you like pop it in half, and there's like a blade inside that you can cut the bag and tie it off. Oh. And then you just have it on <laughs> no, there. So we just cool. do that every week. It like is like perfect. Every week it's like just full enough, and we take hmm. it out with the garbage. Yeah, I want a cat. I'm uh, allergic. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, well, I was just about to ask you. I know they have cats. You have both. And I was gonna say, what are you and Jackie looking at? Uh, Jackie is, is is fucking set on a, getting a dog. Yeah. So we're we're gonna get an Australian Shepherd oh, nice. as soon as the space. Dog. Yeah. yeah. So we're saving up for a house, but like we're thinking of. You should name it Thatcher. Thatcher. Fucking <laughs> 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 Liza. <laughs> So we're thinking of like we want one and we get one as soon as we have the space for it. Um, we're saving up for a house, but what we might do in the next couple of years um, before, so we don't have to wait, is just moving to a bigger 
um, space in our mm -hmm. apartment complex. And then getting one. I yeah, mean, our shoes. neighborhood has good yards. But well, you guys have uh, shitty internet. Your internet no, goes out. No, my all internet's great, dude. My internet's awesome. My internet's fine now. It's just because <laughs> he pissed off a ghost. You know, yeah, that's true. You're, 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 you're fine from dude, that. Dude, see, that's what, safe. You guys are always like out ghost hunting and shit, and I feel like it's gonna bring back some fucking bad juju. And it's not. Uh, did you miss his like terrible, like not good. He, he did. That's such he a weird, that. legit sentence to say. You guys are always out ghost hunting. <laughs> dude, I'm serious. Yeah, actually, we are. Like, it's weird. Like the amount of relief when you guys like, oh my god, we went out and there was dark and there was this and there was that and I was like, fucking thank God I'm not Jesus Christ. Like, thank you, I'm not. Thank God you're not Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not there. I was talking to Daniel the other day. Um, yeah. When I was on a ghost hunting shoot, and he was talking to me about like, you know, if if there was the inclusion of you know Trevor and Alfredo and people like that, he's like, you know, because I'm trying to figure out what everyone's role is, you know, like because. You know, Ryan's the tech guy, Jeff's the leader, I'm the muscle, you're the bait. And he's like, he's like, I just need to figure out what everyone's role would be, you know, if, if they were included in the show. He's like, I know Alfredo's just another bait. <laughs> That's literally <laughs> what he said to me. He goes, it's just another bait. And he's like, still trying to figure out Trevor. And like, we were just Dude, like, bait bros. We, uh, we talked cat. a little bit. You talking about Daniel? Yeah. Cabello? Yeah, we talked. We That one evening we were talking about ideas, you, me, and Jeff. And then they had another like separate unplanned thing. And they were like, oh, let's just combine meetings or whatever after okay. work and we talked a little bit about that and have some ideas <laughs> I think in what I, the what. idea i pitched for trevor was trevor's the person that none of us want to be around <laughs> so he's, he's always alone because we always send him somewhere away from us guys <laughs> like, oh my god with flashlights just two flat guys <laughs> guys i got a phone call from jessica yesterday she was like we need you on more ghost hunts because everyone else's footage sucks oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like everyone's like filming the ground yeah stuff. because i feel like Everyone's I feel like in we've there. gotten slightly better at that. Yeah, everyone. I feel like everyone's in there to hunt the ghosts and stuff. But I can't just. I can't Hunting bring myself away from like I'm filming. filming. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like I'm just there like filming stuff, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm in this. I haven't hey, said anything this. for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I always forget. I'm yeah. Like, yeah, I don't think I'd work because I'd be there and I'd be like. They'd be going that fucking chapel, like the fuck I'm not. Like, <laughs> what way? Daniel, like you know, he's always like in our ears, like and and will say things every now and again if you know he need. Basically, he'll be like. Hey, unless you're having luck here, like you can always head to this area just so we don't get lost and we know what's up. He <laughs> jumped in one like on the last hunt we were on because we were all in this front room, uh, trying to get this ghost to show up in like a rocking chair that's supposedly like. So we had all this stuff like laid out and we're like questioning the thing. And Daniel goes, "Is anyone filming each other? Are there five cameras on this rocking chair?" And all five of us are standing in a circle filming the chair, <laughs> and then everyone goes. Like that, and, so and like no all one's on the show. Like the high R sensors <laughs> at each other, and it was all like blown out. It was just like so stupid. And they gave me a new device that I that you would love seeing me use because it's just like this little device. We explained it in one of the episodes, like that comes that obviously will come out later. But it's like a laser grid. You turn it on, and it does a whole laser grid on the oh, wall. Yeah. So like if the something Xbox passes in front of it, you will thing? see where it's like. It's just like a whole grid of lasers. It's just oh. a little box like a toggle. I've seen switch. people use like the Xbox Connect to like. Yeah, I've seen them yeah. do shit like that, but it's like yeah, it's just like a whole grid, so you can see something pass in front of it. Cool. So literally, what I've just started doing is going into places and going deploying laser grid and like <laughs> throwing it on the floor, <laughs> like spins into place, it's <laughs> going the way up. Yeah, I feel like if I was to go on any haunts, I'd need to have someone else. Of color with me just to split the odds. <laughs> oh, because you'll get picked up. Yeah, because like I feel like split me, the odds. me stepping on the uh, haunted ground is like a hundred percent of anything bad is all on me. It's true. So I feel like I need at least a 50-50 chance. You know for a fact too that we, if you were on a ghost hunt, we're putting you alone somewhere. Oh yeah. yeah. Why? Because Would that's the that? best. That we do best. it to Lindsay. Yeah. All the time because Lindsay gets freaked they, out. We do it to Jeff. They tied me to a train track. It's true. Yeah, I'm good. I've spent two of the past ghost hunts <laughs> locked in areas. Yeah, like, yeah, literally Jer put me in areas. And Jeremy went fucking in. crazy on the one I was with. He was climbing all over the walls. I did, it the, literally I did it last time, too. Climbing over the walls. Like, Michael radioed me. He's like, Jeremy, how you doing in there? And I was like, uh, that's going to be a hard nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is what I'll do after all. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, and I, Michael and I were together in one area, and Jeremy was in another area. But we were like within earshot. So I'm like, Jeremy! And he was like, ah! <laughs> go, like, Jeremy, I go, hey, Jack, how you doing? And he's like, what? I didn't hear that. And I go, <laughs> And yep. that was the car. And Michael yeah. would go, I think he just said, wow. It sounds and then like I, it'd be a lot of fun yeah. if I was white. But, yeah. you know. Dude, it's great, man. I'm not. Get in so. there. And then I fell asleep. Get in there. Are you any white? 
Did you have anything? You 23 and me. Any, check it out. Any European? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure. You no, know, because I know I, I I'm probably sure break that snuck system. in there. It's true. It's it breaks the every, it's everything. Because, like, my great grandma, I mean, my grandma looks black, and my, my mom looks full of Pinot Chinese. So it's all over the place. My dad's side of the family is all Hispanic. Your My mom's side, they got out there. They they got it. <laughs> they got it. They got it. They got it. <laughs> they got it. They got it. They are pretty much like, oh, I'm this ethnicity. You something else? All right, let's, let's mix. There we go. You're going to look like that character from Sequest. There's like patches and shit. He, yeah, a whole bunch of Alfredo would be, be cast in the Zion scene in the Matrix. <laughs> oh, that's Let nice. them hear you dance! <laughs> how would that dance go? Is that how they went? Get your tits out. <laughs> 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 